Have you ever wondered how many cups of water per day for weight loss? Well, I've got the answer for you, so stay tuned. In this video, I'll reveal why drinking water is essential if you want to lose weight and keep it off. Then I'll cover how much water to drink when you're trying to lose weight. And last, I'll reveal how to make your water more enjoyable to drink. And this is coming from someone who absolutely hates drinking water. I'm Christy Code Red, author, entrepreneur, retired professional boxer, and I created a nutrition program that enables you to lose 10% of your body weight every month without shakes, pills, diet foods, or exercise. Water is a crucial part of losing weight. When I see someone complaining about how hungry they feel, the first thing I ask is, how are you sleeping? But the second thing I ask is, how much water have you had today? Our society is chronically dehydrated. We don't drink enough water. Instead, we drink coffee, we guzzle energy drinks, we drink soda, we indulge in alcohol. But we're not drinking regular, pure, clean water. And even when we do, most of the time, we're not getting nearly enough. Dehydration is detrimental in a lot of ways. Even a 1% drop in hydration means a 10% drop in strength and energy. And whether that means you're carrying in groceries from the car or deadlifting at the gym, that's just an example. Exercise, by the way, is not a way to address a weight problem. It doesn't matter. Just being slightly dehydrated means you're gonna have less strength and energy. You've got to hydrate. We have so many toxins in our bodies. We can flush them out by sweating and going potty and proper hydration aids in those bodily functions. Drinking water has a ton of benefits. When you're properly hydrated, your hair and nails grow. You're able to go potty a lot easier. Your skin glows. You flush the toxins from your body. You have more energy and you have a clear mind. Your body functions so much more efficiently when you are properly hydrated. Drinking water helps you lose weight. Proper hydration helps with your appetite. You don't feel as hungry or want to eat as much. Plus water flushes out the toxins circulating in your body as you drop weight. If you aren't hydrated, these toxins get reabsorbed into your tissues and you don't want that. That's called auto intoxication. Water helps you sleep better as long as you get it in before five o'clock. That way you're not up all night going potty. People always ask me, well, Christy, well, how much water do I drink? A gallon of water a day is safe for most people. Some people need more, some people need less. I drink 160 ounces of water a day and I'm 156 pounds. And I'm 45 years old and five foot seven. I don't know what, I'm just giving you my stats now. My bra size, no, I'm kidding. Now, this might seem like a lot for somebody my size. I don't know whatever you're thinking. You're like, well, that's not even close to what I'm drinking. Listen, before you start jumping to conclusions, understand that I have been drinking this water amount for years. I have not skipped days of drinking my water. My body is very, very used to this amount of water. My kidneys have learned to concentrate and I don't go pee all the time like maybe you would think I would. I also work out every day and I sweat a lot. I walk my dogs twice a day in addition to that and I spend time in the heat. So I'm always sweating even when I'm not working out. This is the right amount for me. But again, I'm very used to it and I've been doing this for a long time. So don't just assume if you weigh the same amount as me that you need the same amount of water. In fact, normally we don't have people drink as much as I'm drinking, but again, this is what's right for me. You can see that I'm waving around my water bottle. This is our code red branded Hydro Flask. It has a flip up straw, which is great for people who wear lipstick and you can have it personalized for only $10 more. I linked it up below. But the key here is I never go anywhere without my water. I have it with me all the time. We rebels, we get up, we weigh ourselves in the morning. So we get up, we walk to the bathroom, we strip down naked and we weigh ourselves after we go potty. And then we literally turn and grab our water bottles and start drinking it. And I'm up at 4.30 or 5 a.m. and I start drinking it at that hour. So it's not difficult for me to get four of these 40 ounce bottles in every day, but I don't go anywhere without it. I mean, I've got it cradled right in my arm. I got my phone, my wallet, my keys right here. 
And this is where it stays all day long, whether I'm going to the gym or whether I'm going to the Costco or whether I'm going anywhere, doctor's office. And it has a little, little loop here. A lot of people use it. They put a carabiner on it and it, they hang it from places. It is essential that you keep your water bottle with you all the time. And you'll find it is just easy to get in your water when it's right there with you. Every time you think about it, it's right at your reach. But without knowing more about you, I cannot tell you whether you need more or less water. So go with a gallon for right now. Water is one of the top three biggest rules in weight loss and also for overall good health. I've seen people lose weight just from adding a gallon of water a day and not changing anything else about their food or their habits. But just adding water won't get all of your weight off, but it's a good start. It's a good start. So you might be thinking, but Christy isn't drinking all that much water hard. Look, I have a saying that I want you to remember. It's called pick your hard because it's all hard. It's hard being obese and exhausted. It's hard to drink your water every day. I mean, which hard do you want? You can pick the hards that keep you fat, sick, and miserable, or you can pick the ones that help you lose weight and feel better. Just pick your hard because it ain't nobody getting out of hard. Whatever path you choose is going to be hard. All right, before we go to my next point, I would love to hear from you. I read all your comments. Tell me how much water you drink a day. Be honest with me. Do you measure it or do your kids drink it or do you stuff it full of ice? How much truly do you drink per day? Comment below. Tell me what you think. Here are a few tips to help you with your water. Start your water first thing in the morning. After you get up and go potty, it's easier to get in when you start early. Remember I start at like 5 AM. I mean, bam, I am on it. Get your water in before 5 PM. So you're not up all night going potty. You can sip in the evening time. If you're still a little thirsty, use a straw to drink your water. It's a lot easier to get it down. Try drinking your water at room temperature instead of ice cold because cold water is harder to get down. I suggest you add a safe electrolyte supplement to your water to help you get it down. I mean, you're nourishing your cells here and replenishing electrolytes that are going to get flushed out when you drink water. So it's essential to replenish those electrolytes on the code red lifestyle. We don't eat foods that hold on to water. See for every gram of carb you eat, your body hangs on to almost four grams of water. Well, we're not eating the foods that hold on to water. We eat meat, vegetables, nuts, eggs, seeds, seafoods, and fat. Therefore, when we drink the water, we're flushing it right through our bodies. And when you flush right through your bodies, you end up flushing a lot of electrolytes. It's important that you replenish those electrolytes. I have three Christie approved electrolyte replacements that I have vetted and that are approved plus with a discount for you. I recommend HydroCharge by cage muscle Ultima or Redmond Relight powders. These are premium companies with fantastic flavors that are really going to taste wonderful. I actually enjoy my water. I, I am a terrible water. I used to be a terrible water drinker before I discovered these electrolyte replacements. When I started adding my, these one of the, I rotate through them. A lot of our rebels do. When I started adding a scoop of this, I add a scoop of any, either one of these, any one of these to the 40 ounce bottle of water, every bottle of water. Oh, it tastes so good. I mean, they have orange mango and apple limeade and they have, you know, like pink lemonade. I mean, it's just tastes amazing. And of course I'm replenishing that sodium, magnesium, potassium, I'm replenishing the electrolytes that are so important to help you feel good when you don't feel good. When you have kind of a, a feeling of fatigue or a headache or cramping or dizziness, 99% of the reason is that you need more electrolytes. So replenishing your electrolytes with my recommended three electrolyte replenishers, that's going to be the way to go. I've linked those up in the description below. You can take advantage of the discounts that they offer my community. They're so generous and I'm so thankful for that. Check those out. We're going to talk about this. We're going to talk about water. We're going to talk about all kinds of things on the 10 pound takedown challenge. I linked that up below as well. If you're interested in joining us, we'd love to have you and I'll see you on the next video. And whether that means you're carrying in your groceries from the car, a gallon of water a day is safe. A gallon of water a day is water. So it's essential to rip shoot that you keep your water bottle with you all the time and don't yeah, hold on. Let me do that again.